Hello everyone, Storyteller's back again. Today we'll be reading Spinderella, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Sebastian Braun. The children of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner. Fish fingers, potatoes and peas. High above them, the spiders of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner. Flies, flies and flies. How many flies have we got today, Mum? Asked Cinderella, the smallest spider. Lot, said Mum. Loads, mm. said her brothers and sisters. That's not a number complained Spinderella. Never mind about numbers, eat up your flies, said Mum. After dinner, the children went out to play football. The spiders swung down to watch. What a tackle, they cried, and yippee! The children scored goal after goal. How many goals were that, Mum? Asked Spinderella. Boat, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. Spinderella sighed. <sighs> what a family. How will I ever learn about numbers? When the children had got home, Spinderella said, Why don't we play football? Don't be silly, said her biggest brother, Speedy. We haven't got a ball, said her second biggest brother, Scrabble. I can see a pee on the floor, said Cinderella. We can use that. Mum chose Speedy and Scrabble as their captains of each team. Nearly all the spiders decided to go on Speedy's team because he was the fastest runner. Speedy's team scored all the goals. It's not fair, the spiders on Scrabble's team shouted. Yes, it is. You're just jealous, shouted the spiders on Speedy's team. To make things worse, the spiders heard their legs kicking the pea. Before long, they were all quarrelling, moaning and kicking each other instead of the pea. Mum had to blow her whistle. Should we have on each team, Mum? Asked Spinderella. Er, uh, lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. I think both teams should have the same number, said Spinderella. But her brothers and sisters all turned on her. Down, Down with numbers, numbers, they yelled. Next morning, Spinderella woke up early. She felt sad. I wish I could learn about numbers, she sighed. And so you shall, came a loud voice. Spinderella spun round and saw an enormous hairy spider. Who are you? asked Spinderella. I'm your hairy godmother, said the enormous spider. Follow me. Spinderella scuttled after her. Out of the dinner hall, along a corridor, into a classroom, and up to the ceiling. Spinderella looked down and saw a teacher come into the classroom with a pile of football bibs. Keep your eyes and ears open, said the hairy godmother, and in a flash she was gone. Now, I want you to count yourselves, said the teacher. There should be 20 of you, but let's check. Then came the most wonderful sound. Children took turns to shout out a number from 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Spinderella swung joyfully backwards and forwards in time to the counting. The teacher gave out the football bibs. Put them on and find the others with the same colour, he said. Soon there were two groups of children. How many in each team? asked the teacher. The children counted again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten reds, said the girl in red. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten blues, said a boy in blue. The same number, shouted Spinderella. She was so excited that she let go of her thread. Look, a spider! Squash it! screamed someone. Spinderella froze in terror. Let's put it out of the window, said the teacher. And he did. Suddenly, Spinderella was outside. I'm lost, she wailed. I'll never see my mum again. But then she turned round and spotted two football goals. I know where I am now, she said. She scuttled round of the outside of the school, in through the open window of a dinner hall, up to the web. Hello, Mum. I can count up to twenty, she said. Never mind about that. Eat up your flies, said Mum. I'm going to count them first, said Spinderella. And she did. I've got 14 flies, she told her brothers and sisters. So what? They said. Done with numbers. Up with flies and football. That night the spiders decided to play football again. Mum, said Spinderella. I've been counting. There are ten of us, so we need five spiders on each side. Some of the spiders muttered, Down his numbers. But Mum shut them up. Shush! Spinderella sorted them out into teams of five. She was in Scrabble's team, and she also helped Mum to keep the score. This time, no one quarreled or kicked each other, and at half time, each scored three goals. But still, the spiders kept hurting their legs, kicking the pea. I wish we had some football boots, sighed Spinderella. And so you shall, came a voice. It was the hairy godmother again. How many boots do you each need? She asked. Lot, said Mum. Loads. Loads said Spinderella's brothers and sisters. That's not good enough, said the hairy good mother. I need to have a number. Eight, shouted Spinderella. We've each got eight legs, so we each need eight boots. Done, said the hairy godmother. There was a flash, and there on the floor were ten little piles of boots. Each pile had eight boots in it. The spiders put them on and laced them up. Then they had a wonderful second half. They scored goal after goal. The hairy godmother clapped and clapped. With only a minute left to go, each team had scored eight goals. It's going to be a draw, muttered Spinderella. But just then, the ball came her way and she gave it an almighty kick. Spinderella had scored the winning goal. All the spiders ran up to her. They picked her up and all together they cheered. Up with Spinderella! Up with numbers! The end. Wow, there were so many spiders there. And in the end, they all played football. We love the story. 
Did you? Please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet to be notified of newly uploaded videos. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and we'll see you later. Goodbye! Bye.